If you're having trouble receiving audio from an audio integrated IP camera, such as a 3 megapixel low profile with integrated audio, um, there's a few settings that you're going to have to check. Now, if it's been plugged into a PoE port on the back of an NVR, it's been negotiated to have an IP address of the scope 10.1.1.x. Um, in order to see it on my network, I need to make it match my network scope. So I have the config tool that I'll open up. I can see it on my network here. Double click on it. Oops, wrong one. And the username is admin. We've kept the default password as admin and the default port. Log in. Now that I'm logged in, I can modify the IP address. I'm going to make it match the scope of my network and give it a position in this last octet here that isn't being used on my network. modified successfully. There it is now. And to find that information out, uh, what the default gateway is and things of that nature, um, click on the start menu or just the search bar if you're on Windows 10 and uh, type C as in Charlie, M as in Mike, D as in Delta, and press enter to bring up the command prompt. As you can see up here, cmd.exe. In here I'll type IP config. So this is the IPv4 address of this computer. What I really need is the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway 192.168.1.1. Um, if your network is relatively small to make sure that you find an open IP address, you can look into the networking table. This will show you all the devices. Let me go ahead and close that. Refresh this. So our device is there. Now that it's reachable, bring this over. We use Internet Explorer 11 because the device requires ActiveX controls which is proprietary Microsoft technology. Um, we do have some guides on setting up the ActiveX controls in an Internet Explorer if you'd like to follow those first. Once you have those set up Type in the IP address of the device and hit enter. You'll be brought to the login screen. Enter the password. Go to click on setup, audio. Now, natively, by default, this should be set up as such. Uh, if you're having an issue with the volume, make sure that it's all the way up. Uh, this device has a really really good uh, microphone in it. Um, 20 feet away you can hear it very well. Uh, one other thing that you might want to consider is uh, if you've taken the top off is it now placed back on with the hole for the microphone over the microphone. Um, if the microphone hole is over another part of the camera then you know, it's going to muffle the audio, absolutely. So, once we're made sure it's enabled, here, the volume is up here, in code mode, sampling frequency, and click save, refresh,
fresh. We'll now go into our NVR. and attach the device. We want 147. Add it. It's now connected. Let's take a look at the encoding. Audio is enabled. Same camera. Let's turn the audio on and, and see if you can hear me. Hear me. I have my headset off and on mute, I'm about 20 feet away, and I can hear myself. If you do not have a PoE switch, um, you will need either a 12 volt DC adapter or a PoE injector to power the camera and run it on your network.